Hi, I'm Ronnie. I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> You're watching it, but you need to subscribe to it. English lessons for you. Hit that subscribe button. Do it. Do it now. Or I'm not going to teach you. Any okay, I'll teach you anyways. But subscribe and, and sign up. It'll be great. You'll love it. <laughs> no, you will. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to teach you phrasal verbs. <sighs> and phrasal verbs are essential. A lot of people um, kind of get off track and they start to study idioms. Wow, idioms are kind of old, in my opinion, and not very useful. But one thing that is essential for you to understand and learn in English are these crazy phrasal verbs. What is a phrasal verb, you ask? You did, I heard you. A phrasal verb has a verb. Mm -hmm plus a preposition. So prepositions are things like up, on, down, around. So if you have a verb and a preposition together, magically these are called phrasal verbs. And they're very confusing. A lot of people have problems with them because one phrasal verb can have many meanings. But I'm here to make it easy for you and teach you about something you probably do every day. It's called your morning routine. Um, I don't know about you, but I have to wake up in the morning. Some of you have to wake up in the afternoon or at night, depending on your work schedule or if you work. <laughs> um, so the first thing that happens most treacherously and most terribly is my alarm goes off. In the past, I could also say my alarm went off, maybe it's 7. If you wanted to be very specific, you could say 7 a.m. But because most people wake up in the morning, you don't need to say a.m. Most people will understand you're waking up in the morning. If you work a night shift or, I don't know, you're a vampire, you could also say, oh, my alarm went off at 7 p.m. That's cool, but usually we don't need to specify or we don't need to say a.m. because most people understand it's the morning time. Um, and this is also very illogical, crazy in English. An alarm goes off. But in reality, it goes on because it meh, meh, makes a noise. <laughs> so in English, we just like to have a giggle and, and make it difficult. So we have to say my alarm goes off. It means my alarm sounds or makes a noise. And then <laughs> I turn off the alarm that went off. Don't get it. Don't worry about that. So my alarm goes off at seven. What do I do next? I <clears throat> wake up. That means I open my eyes and I, oh God, why isn't it Saturday? Why do I have to wake up? Why was I born? Then, to actually physically leave your bed, you're going to say, get up. So, maybe you are good at getting out of bed, but I'm not. So, my alarm goes off at 7, but I actually get up, which means I leave my beautiful, warm, luscious bed at 7.30. What are you doing for half an hour, Ronnie? Yes, I am trying to make time stop so I can sleep longer, but it never works. And then I try and figure out all the problems of the world and solve some English problems, but yeah, 7.30 comes again and I have to get up. <clears throat> I take off my PJs. Peanut butter jam? No. PJs are the short form for pajamas or pajamas. Um, pajamas are the clothes that you wear at night in your bed. You can wear them in the daytime too, it doesn't matter. They're usually funky though. Um, this phrasal verb we can replace with just the verb remove. So you can say, I remove my pajamas or my PJs, but that sounds very strange. We don't say that. If you said it, I would understand, but that's not how we speak naturally. We say, I take off my pajamas or my PJs. Um, <clears throat> I actually shower, okay? I, it just wasn't a phrasal verb, so I, I couldn't put it in here. But after I take my shower, I need to put on my clothes. Now, in English, we don't use the verb wear when we're actually getting dressed. 
which means putting on your clothes. In some languages, you guys say, I wear my clothes, but we don't use the verb wear. We say, I put on my clothes. So in the morning, we put on our clothes. Um, I take off my PJs, I have a shower, and then I put on my clothes because it's illegal to walk around naked. Um, the next thing I do is I put in, or I can also say I put on my contacts. Now, contacts is actually the short form of contact lenses. We don't need to bother to say lenses. Everybody knows if you put in or put on your contacts, those are contact lenses. Um, <clears throat> maybe you also like to wear makeup. So you can say, I put on my makeup. You could say, apply my makeup. But again, it's not natural. We always use the phrasal verb put on. Um, maybe you want to wear glasses. Don't, please don't put on contacts and glasses at the same time. You hurt your vision. Um, but you would definitely put on glasses and you would put on jewelry. This is a difficult word for people. Repeat after me. Jewelry. I put on jewelry. As I said before, rings, earrings, a necklace. All of these things are jewelry and we put them on because they're outside of our body. So I put on these things. Um, then just to help with life, I do the most essential thing. I turn on the coffee maker. I could say start the coffee maker, but because it's a button, I would say I turn on the coffee maker. Start is too formal. You can start your car, but Mm, you're going to turn on the coffee maker. Now, one thing that you should do, not every day, because you can't, but I highly suggest that you sign up for notifications by ringing the bell. Ding, ding, ding. On English Lessons for You. This is what you're watching. This is the amazingness of what you're doing right now. So, if you sign up for notifications and you ring the bell, this means that when I make a new video for you, you get a notification and you can watch it right away. Because some people say, Ronnie, you had a new video and I didn't know. And like, Did you ring my bell? You got to ring my bell to get the notification. So actually do it now. Do it now. Hit the bell. Ring the bell. Ding, ding. And I'll see you later. Please don't forget to shower though. Essential. Essential.